Hi, welcome to another tutorial from Cut Corner Studio. Um, we have been doing quite a few um, logo tutorials using Inkscape and GIMP, um, centered around comic books, and we will continue to do so, to do so um, until we kind of run out of ideas, I think. But one of the first <coughs> one of the ideas that popped into our heads today was realised actually that we haven't we've done quite a bit. Um, around DC Comics and Marvel comic book characters, but we've never actually looked at um, generating the actual Marvel Studios logo um, and, and actually how you go about doing that until um, we did a quick case study on the Thor Ragnarok logo and when we actually found out and discovered what font typographies are actually used and what typographies are actually used for the logo. So we went about going, right, well, let's, let's actually generate a tutorial using Inkscape um, to um, create the Marvel logo, which is what this one is going to be about. And from from looking at what we've done so far, this is a really, really easy tutorial. And it's actually the steps to achieve what you're looking at at the moment on our desktop is, um, is surprisingly easy. So we're just going to run through the process uh, very quickly. Um, but first and foremost, what you'll need to uh, be aware of is what will be in the file that you'll download from our site. Um, just incidentally, you can find, if you found our video on YouTube, then um, obviously we will place a link in the description under the video as to where the article is or where the post on our site is. But um, just to let you know, um, when you go to our site, uh, cutcorner.co.uk and hit news, um, the tips and tutorials are all found here. Um, if you don't find the logo uh, tutorial you're looking for, because this, this video has been posted ages ago, then the best place to go to find it will be, say for example, just type the title or keyword based around the tutorial in here and it will bring back the results. So uh, just to let you know where you're going to find your, your bits and pieces. Um, <coughs> in the file, what you will find is a final version of what you're aiming towards. Uh, the source file that we created, um, the a GIMP file that we've also created and a um, shareable um, comic book strip image that we found on Google that is being uploaded with uh, and marked as um, reusable with modification which is exactly what we're going to do. We're actually going to modify this image so that it appears to be sat in the background of the uh, Marvel logo, a little bit like the new intro that you see through all the movies. Anyway, right, so we've been talking for about two and a half to three minutes here, so we really want to get right into it because it is dead quick. Um, so first and foremost, what you do and things that you need to be aware of is when you go into your document, um, go to File and Document Properties, and we've set our um, we've set our uh, our document here um, 400 millimeters or 40 centimeters by 21 in height. Um, but we've also, one of the things that you need to be aware of is the colour of the background, which is actually the Marvel Red, which is uh, F11E22FF, and uh, we will need that very shortly. So all I'm going to do is right click and copy it, because you will need to do that. So first and foremost, let's turn our grid on, and what I'm now going to do is just create a box. Um, it is 480 by 240, I'm quite happy with that and I'm going to set a stroke of white around it. Open up my stroke panel and I'm going to create, increase that to around 5 pixels and I'm going to remove the fill from it. So um, I'm just going to do this up in my panel here. This is another way of doing that. Just click this cross here whilst the fill tab is highlighted and, Chris, and click the cross and uh, that should sort you out with a box. Um, very quickly, what I'm going to do is now go back to my alignment tool. I'm making sure it's relative to page. I'm going to select it and place it right in the middle of it. So center it on the horizontal axis, and I've also centered it on the vertical. Now the text. I'm just going to click, and by default, it's set to uh, Century Gothic. So I'm going to put my cap lock on on my uh, keypad uh, on my keyboard, and I'm just going to type Marvel. Turn it white, and the font you will also find in the file when it, this tutorial is finished is one called Benton. I'm just going to type it here so you can see who it is here. Benton Sands Extra Comp Black. 
So if I select that, it then turns into the Marvel font. Again, I'm going to center that on the page, but it, the spacing between the letters are a little bit too far apart. So I'm going to select the word, and I'm just going to click the down arrow here to bring it in a bit closer. Again, center it. Okay, and I'm going to make the box a little smaller. So holding down shift, I'm going to pull that in. Take my grid off actually. I'm going to pull that in. So the box is a little tighter on the word. So you can already see that it's taking shape. Um, now, what we're going to do is add a bit of a gradient around the back. Uh, so I'm going to go to grid, create another box. And as you can see, I'm set to 80, so I'm just going to increase that to 100. That should go white. And I'm going into my fill, I'm just going to place that with the red. And that is awesome. And with the strokes, I'll just remove that. I'm going into my gradient tool down here. I'm going to click that once, ensure that the radial gradient is selected, and I'm going to pull down to the bottom of the page. So I'll just get this node and pull it right down to the bottom of the page. Select the one to the right, because that don't need it. And I'm going to pull that a little bit further off the page. I'm ensuring that this right node is selected, I'm just going to make it a darker red, which adds that kind of shadow in the back. Now we can't see the logo. I'm just going to go object, lower to bottom, and the logo is there. Now if I take the grid off, object and group the two elements and I'm just going to put a shadow on it as well. Drop shadow, I've got it set to blur radius of 2, opacity of 50%, horizontal offset of 2 and vertical which is fine for me. Select apply, put the shadow on it. Now what I'm now going to do is just go file export bitmap, showing the page tab is selected, it's about 150 pixels. I'm just going to go to browse, Hit desktop and call it logo for now. Marvel and select save and then export it. Now I'm minimizing the image, I've got that there. I'm just going to open that with GIMP. Wait for that to open. Size down my interface so I can see both the toolbox and the layers. And I'm now going to go file. Open as layers, I'm going to go to that shareable image. So if I go into my Marvel logo for, uh, tutorial folder, select comic book strip JPEG, click open. And that's going to place it. Yep, select convert. Place it right over the top of the logo. Now, if I go to my mode here, which is set to normal by default, I'm just going to choose overlay. There it is. Um, I have actually forgotten to place the studio section underneath it, so I'm just going to quickly revert back. Absent-mindedly done that, so I'm going to go quickly back to the studio section uh, and add the studios in. So if I go to and write with my cap lock on studios, and all I'm looking for is a font is copper plate, which should be already installed on your computer. There it is. There, select white and I'm going to drop that to around 24 or 28 align it in the middle I'm going to push that right to the top sorry not right to the top just below the marble logo I'm going to select the word and I'm just going to spread that out a bit With that, and then I'm just going to align it to the middle of the page. And very quickly export that again, place, and then close this. Now, what I'm actually going to do is I'm just going to bin that, and I'm going to go file, opens those, I'm going to bring in the new one be on the desktop. Hit open. I'm just going to draw that and drag it underneath it. And then go file, 
overwrite logo at marvel.png. Wait for that to overwrite. Just going to quit them because we don't need it anymore. Just kind of changes. I'm going to open that. A Marvel Studios logo. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel. And um, and also, if you're on the site, then please um, subscribe to our uh, our blog so that you get all the new updates as they come in. Thank you.